today we're going to install a pollen trap to collect pollen. And the way this little device works is this piece here slips onto the front of the hive. And we'll put a couple clips to hold it in place there. And what it has on here, it has two side holes here. This larger hole here is, is for uh, allowing drones to come in and out or a queen for a mating flight. Correct. So what happens is you have this little door right here that you can leave in the up position. And when you want to collect pollen, you flip it to the down position. And what happens is the worker bees have to slip through this grate. And when they slip through, it scrapes the pollen off of their uh, pollen sacks. And there's a basket that goes underneath here that collects that pollen as it drops off. So once you install this, you can leave it on the hive and just flip the gate up so that the bees can come in and out unobstructed. And when you want to collect pollen, you flip the gate down, put your basket under, and you collect pollen. Now it doesn't take terribly long to collect pollen when they're flying, and you don't want to leave this closed for extended periods of time because they need pollen uh, for their own usage. But it does allow you to collect little bits at a time. Um, so we'll go ahead and set this right here in front of the hive. And I've just got a couple little button clips right now to hold this in place. gate is in the down position so now the bees will have to come through and we'll start collecting pollen here it'll take the bees a few minutes to kind of figure it out they'll find their way through and we'll come back and check on it in a bit and you can see that the bees have lots of pollen on their back legs so it won't take long for us to collect it. Back in a bit. So we're back and the bees have started to figure this out. So they're starting to squeeze through the gate. Well, not all of them have pollen, of course. But the ones that do, off their back legs. It doesn't hurt them, although it's probably a bummer to get back and then see your load is gone, but they're making it in. You can see they're a little confused. So we tend to leave our gate on no more than an hour or two because we don't really collect that much pollen as a general rule, only when someone asks for it specifically. So we have left our pollen trap on for about two hours now. We want to pull the drawer out and see how much pollen we have. We want to remove it. So and there we go. There's our pollen that we've collected for the day. So we're going to remove the pollen. off the hive so these ladies can come in and out at will. There you go. And they are happy to not have that in their way. 